Kartikeya IAST, Kartikeya, also known as Murugan, Skanda, Kumara, and Subramanya, is the Hindu god of war. He is the son of Parvati and Shiva, brother of Ganesha, and a god whose life story has many versions in Hinduism. An important deity around South Asia since ancient times, Kartikeya is particularly popular and predominantly worshipped in South India, Sri Lanka, Singapore and Malaysia as Murugan. Kartikeya is an ancient god, traceable to the Vedic era. Archaeological evidence from 1st century CE and earlier, where he is found with Hindu god Agni fire, suggest that he was a significant deity in early Hinduism. He is found in many medieval temples all over India, such as at the Ellora Caves and Elephanta Caves. The iconography of Kartikeya varies significantly. He is typically represented as an ever youthful man, riding or near a peacock, dressed with weapons sometimes near a rooster. Most icons show him with one head, but some show him with six heads reflecting the legend surrounding his birth where six mothers symbolizing the six stars of Pleiades cluster who took care of newly born baby Kartikeya. He grows up quickly into a philosopher warrior, destroys evil in the form of demon Taraka, teaches the pursuit of ethical life and the theology of Shaiva Siddhanta. He has inspired many poet saints, such as Aranajaranathar, Kartikeya, as Murugan or Subramanya or Shunmaga, is found as a primary deity in temples wherever communities of the Tamil people live worldwide, particularly in Sri Lanka, Mauritius, Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore, South Africa and Reunion. Three of the six richest and busiest temples in Tamil Nadu are dedicated to him. The Kataragama temple dedicated to him in Sri Lanka attracts Tamils, Sinhalese people and the Veda people. He is also found in other parts of India, sometimes as Skanda, but in a secondary role along with Ganesha, Parvati and Shiva. Etymology and nomenclature Kartikeya is known by numerous names in ancient and medieval texts of the Indian culture. Most common among these are Murugan, Kumara, Skanda, and Subramanya. Others include Ayan, Chayan, Senthal, Velan, Swaminatha, ruler of the gods, from Natha king, Saravana, born amongst the reeds, Arumugam or Shanmaka, six-faced, Dandapani, wielder of the mace, from Pani Hand, Guha, cave, secret, or Gurugua, cave teacher, Kadarvelan, Kandan, Vishaka, and Mahasena. In ancient coins where the inscription has survived along with his images, his names appear as Kumara, Brahmanya or Brahmanyadeva. On some ancient Indo-Scythian coins, his names appear in Greek script as Skanda, Kumara and Vishaka. In ancient statues, he appears as Mahasena, Skanda and Vishaka. Skanda is derived from Skander, which means to spill, ooze, leap, attack. This root is derived from the legend of his unusual birth. The legend, translates Lotefeld, states, Shiva and Parvati are disturbed while making love, and Shiva inadvertently spills his semen on the ground. This semen incubates in river Ganges, preserved by the heat of god Agni, and this fetus is born as baby Kartikeya on the banks of Ganges. The spill epithet leads to the name Skanda. Additionally, N. Gopala Pillai postulated that Skanda derives from Alexander the Great. Kartikeya means, of the Kritikas. This epithet is also linked to his birth. After he appears on the banks of the river Ganges, he is seen by the six of the seven brightest stars cluster in the night sky called Kritikas in Hindu texts called Pleiades in Greek texts. These six mothers all want to take care of him and nurse baby Kartikeya. Kartikeya ends the argument by growing five more heads to have a total of six heads so he can look at all six mothers, and let them each nurse one. Textual references Topic. Ancient There are ancient references which can be interpreted to be Kartikeya in the Vedic texts, in the works of Panini tilde 500 BCE, in the Mahabhasya of Patanjali and in Kautilya's Arthashastra. For example, the term Kumara appears in hymn 5, 2 of the Rig Veda. The Kumara of verse 5.2.1 can be interpreted as skanda, or just any boy. However, the rest of the verses depict the boy as bright-colored, hurling weapons and other motifs that later have been associated with skanda. The difficulty with interpreting these to be skanda is that Indra, Agni and Rudra are also depicted in similar terms and as warriors. 
The skanda-like motifs found in Rig Veda are found in other Vedic texts, such as section 6.1-3 of the Shatapatha Brahmana. In these, the mythology is very different for Kumara, as Agni is described to be the Kumara whose mother is Usha's goddess Dawn and whose father is Purusha. The section 10.1 of the Taittiriya Aranyaka mentions Sanmaka, six-faced one, while the Bhadayana Dharmasutra mentions a householder's rite of passage that involves prayers to Skanda with his brother Ganapati Ganesha together. The chapter 7 of the Chandogya Upanishad, approximately 800 to 600 BCE, equates Sanat Kumara, eternal son, and Skanda as he teaches sage Narada to discover his own atman, soul, self, as a means to the ultimate knowledge, true peace and liberation. According to Fred Clothy, the evidence suggests that Kartikeya mythology had become widespread sometime around 200 BCE or after in North India. The first clear evidence of Kartikeya's importance emerges in the Hindu epics such as the Ramayana and the Mahabharata where his story is recited. In addition to textual evidence, his importance is affirmed by the archaeological, the epigraphical and the numismatic evidence of this period. For example, he is found in numismatic evidence linked to the Yadhayas, a confederation of warriors in North India who are mentioned by ancient Panini. They ruled an area consisting of modern era Haryana, Punjab, Rajasthan and Uttar Pradesh extending into Garhwal region, Uttarakhand. They struck coins bearing the image of Skanda, and these coins are dated to be from before Kushan Empire era started. During the Kushan dynasty era, that included much of northwest Indian subcontinent, more coins featuring Kartikeya were minted. He is also found on ancient Indo-Scythian coins, where his various names are minted in Greek script. Kartikeya was revered in major cultural centers of ancient India. For example, he was a major god for the Ikshvakas, an Andhra dynasty, as well as for the Gupta Empire. In South India, eight of the early Pallava dynasty rulers 300 to 550 CE were named after Skanda or Kumara, suggesting the significance of Kartikeya by then. Kalidasa's epic poem The Kumarasambhava features Kartikeya. In Tamil literature The Tolkapiyam, one of the most ancient texts of the Tamil literature, mentions Sayan, the Red One, who is identified with Murugan, whose name is literally Marukan, the youth. The other gods referred to in the Tolkapiyam are Mayan, the Dark One, identified with Vishnu, Ventan, the Sovereign, identified with Indra, and Kauravai, the Victorious, identified with Kali, and Varanan, the Sea God. Extant Sangam literature works, dated between the 3rd century BCE and the 5th century CE glorified Murugan, the red god seated on the blue peacock, who is ever young and resplendent, as the favoured god of the Tamils. Kauravai is often identified as the mother of Murugan. In the Tirumurukartruapatai, he is called Maruku and described as a god of beauty and youth, with phrases such as, his body glows like the sun rising from the emerald sea. It describes him with six faces each with a function, twelve arms, his victory over evil, and the temples dedicated to him in the hilly regions. Puranas Kartikeya is mentioned in Shaiva Puranas. Of these, the Skanda Purana is the largest Mahapurana, a genre of 18 Hindu religious texts. The text contains over 81,000 verses, and is part of Shaivite literature, titled after Skanda, a son of Shiva and Parvati, who is also known as Kartikya and Murugan. While the text is named after Skanda, he does not feature either more or less prominently in this text than in other Shiva-related Puranas. The text has been an important historical record and influence on the Hindu traditions related to war god Skanda. The earliest text titled Skanda Purana likely existed by the 6th century CE, but the Skanda Purana that has survived into the modern era exists in many versions. <inaudible> <inaudible> Buddhism and Jainism According to Richard Gombrich, Skanda has been an important deity in Theravada Buddhism pantheon, in countries such as Sri Lanka and Thailand. The Nikaya Samgraha describes Skanda Kumara as a guardian deity of the land, along with Upalvan, Vishnu, Saman and Vibhisana. Similarly, the 16th-century Siamese text Jinnakalamali mentions him as a guardian god. There are Buddhist Sinhala shrines such as at Kataragama dedicated to Skanda which have historically been officiated by Hindu priests, which attracted Buddhist devotees and enjoyed royal support. 
Since the 1950s, states Brian Morris, the Kataragama Shrine of Skanda has attracted over half a million devotional pilgrims every year, most being Buddhists. In Chinese Buddhism, Skanda has been portrayed as Waituo, a young heavenly general, the guardian deity of local monasteries and the protector of Buddhist Dhamma. According to Henrik Sorensen, this representation became common after the Tang period, and became well established in the late Song period. Skanda was also adopted by Korean Buddhism, and he appears in its woodblock prints and paintings. According to Asko Parpola, the Jain deity Nagamsa, who is also referred to as Hari Nagamsan, is depicted in early Jain texts as riding the peacock and as the leader of the divine army, both symbols of Kartikeya. Iconography Ancient coins of the Yadhayas, dated to 1st and 2nd century CE, show Kartikeya as a warrior with either one or six heads. Kushan coins show him with one head. In general, single head is far more common regardless of which dynasty minted them. The earliest statues discovered in Punjab and Kashmir show him with either one or six heads. The oldest sculptures such as those found in Mathura show him with one head, while six-head iconography is dated to post-Gupta Empire era. All Kushan Empire era artwork show him with one head, even though there are Kushan deities such as a goddess who is shown with multiple heads. The Kushan Empire era statues of Kartikeya, dated to 1st and 2nd century CE, have been found at various sites in the Indian subcontinent, particularly at Mathura and Gandhara. They show him as a warrior dressed in dhoti sheet wrapped at waist, covering the legs, armor like a warrior, spear in his right hand and a bird rooster in his left. There is some difference between his ancient iconography in Mathura and Gandhara artwork. The Gandhara arts show him in more a Scythian dress, likely reflecting the local dress culture prevalent in those times. Further, it is in the oldest Gandharan statues where he is shown with a bird that looks like a chicken or cock. According to Richard Mann, the bird may symbolize Kartikeya's agility and maneuverability as a warrior god, and may be a Parthian influence. His iconography symbolizes his attributes as a hunter, warrior, and philosopher. Kartikeya iconography shows him as a youthful god, dressed as a warrior, carrying the weapon called Vel. It is a divine spear, often called Sakti. He is sometimes depicted with many weapons including, a sword, a javelin, a mace, a discus and a bow although more usually he is depicted wielding the sakti or spear. His vahana vehicle, mount, is a peacock. He has either one head or six, depending on the region or artist. <inaudible> Legends The epic era literature of ancient India recite numerous legends of Kartikeya, often with his other names such as Skanda. For example, the Vana Parva of the Mahabharata dedicates chapters 223-232 to the legends of Skanda, but depicts him as the son of Agni and Svaha. Similarly, Valmiki's Ramayana dedicates chapters 36 and 37 to Skanda, but describes him as the child of god Agni and goddess Ganges. The legends of Kartikeya vary significantly, sometimes within the same text. For example, while the Vana Parva of the Mahabharata describes Skanda as the son of Agni, the Shalya Parva and the Anushasana Parva of the same text present Skanda's legend as the son of Maheshvara Shiva and Parvati. In Vana Parva, the circumstances behind Kartikeya's birth legend do not involve Shiva and Parvati. Rather it is deity Agni who goes to a hermitage of seven married rishis sages and meets their seven wives. He is sexually attracted to all seven, but none reciprocate. Svaha is present there and she is attracted to Agni, but Agni is not. According to the legend, Svaha takes the form of six of the wives, one by one, and sleeps with Agni. She does not take the form of Arundhati, Vasistha's wife, because of Arundhati's extraordinary virtuous powers. Svaha deposits the semen of Agni into the reeds of river Ganges, where it develops and then is born as six-headed Skanda. A totally different legend in the later books of the Mahabharata make Shiva and Parvati as the parents. They were making love, but they are disturbed, and Shiva inadvertently spills his semen on the ground. Shiva's semen incubates in river Ganges, preserved by the heat of god Agni, and this fetus is born as baby Kartikeya on the banks of Ganges. Some legends state that he was the elder son of Shiva, others make him the younger brother of Ganesha. This is implied by another legend connected to his birth. Devas have been beaten up by Asuras led by Taraka, because Taraka had a boon from ascetic celibate yogi Shiva that only Shiva's son can kill him. 
Devas learn about this boon, and plan how to get Shiva into a relationship. So they bring Parvati into the picture, have her seduce Yogi Shiva, and wed Parvati so that Skanda can be born to kill Taraka. According to Raman Varadara, Murugan or Kartikya was originally a Tamil deity, who was adopted by North Indians. He was the god of war in the Dravidian legends, and became so elsewhere in the Indian subcontinent too. In contrast, G. S. Guri states that according to the archaeological and epigraphical evidence, the contemporary Murugan, Subramanya and Kartikya is a composite of two influences, one from south and one from north in the form of Skanda and Mahasena. He is the warrior philosopher god was the patron deity for many ancient northern and western Hindu kingdoms, and of the Gupta Empire, according to Guri. After the 7th century, Skanda's importance diminished while his brother Ganesha's importance rose in the west and north, while in the south the legends of Murugan continued to grow. According to Norman Cutler, Kartikya Murugan Skanda of South and North India coalesced over time, but some aspects of the South Indian iconography and mythology for Murugan have remained unique to Tamil Nadu. Kartikya's legends vary by region. For example, in the northern and western Indian traditions Kartikya or Skanda is the perpetual celibate bachelor who never marries, but in the Tamil legends he has two consorts, Vali and Devasena. Many of the major events in Murugan's life take place during his youth, and legends surrounding his birth are popular in Tamil Nadu. This has encouraged the worship of Murugan as a child god, very similar to the worship of the child Krishna in North India. Kartikya's youth, beauty and bravery was much celebrated in Sanskrit works like the Kathasaritsagara. Kalidasa made the birth of Kumara the subject of a lyrical epic, the Kumarasambhava. Theology There is extensive Hindu symbolism and theology associated with Kartikya. Regardless of the variance among the legends, his birth is in difficult circumstances, he is born through a surrogate after being left near a river. He is raised not by his natural mother but a host of mothers, but later he is a part of his biological family. Kartikya symbolizes a union of polarities. He is handsome warrior and described as a celibate yogi. He uses his creative martial abilities to lead an army against Taraka and other demons, and described as a philosopher warrior. He is a uniter, championing the attributes of both Shaivism and Vaishnavism. His theology is most developed in the Tamil texts, and in the Shaiva Siddhanta tradition. He is described as Divam, abstract neuter divinity, Nirguna Brahman, as Kadaval, divinity in nature, in everything, as Devan, masculine deity, and as Aravadivam, concrete manifestation of the sacred, Saguna Brahman. According to Fred Clothy, as Murugan, also referred to as Murugan, Chayan, he embodies the cultural and religious whole that comprises South Indian Shaivism. He is the philosopher and exponent of Shaiva Siddhanta theology, as well as the patron deity of the Tamil language. <laughs> <laughs> Worship <laughs> <laughs> Within India <laughs> <laughs> South India Kartikya is a major deity among the Hindus of Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh and Telangana. Tamil Nadu is considered the god of Tamil language and he is mentioned a lot in Tamil Sangam literature. The six abodes of Murugan are all in Tamil Nadu. Each of these temples has a unique history and different reason to worship Lord Murugan. Thiruparamkanram Murugan temple he is worshipped as he Lord Kartikya worshipped Lord Shiva. As per tradition, devotes who go to the six abodes of Murugan tonsure their head in imitation of Palani deity. Karnatakane Karnataka's Kuk Subramanya Temple, Kartikya is worshipped as Subramanya, Lord of all serpents. The epics relate that the divine serpent Vasuki and other serpents found refuge under Subramanya when threatened by the Garuda. Pilgrims going to the temple have to cross the Kumaradara River and take a holy dip in the river before entering the temple for their darshan holy viewing of the Lord. The devotees enter the courtyard from the doorway at the back, and circumnavigate the deity. Between the sanctum and the portico entrance, there is the Garuda pillar covered with silver. Devotees circumnavigate this pillar. It is believed that this pillar was enchanted and planted there to shield devotees from the poisonous flames arising from the breath of Vasuki, who resides inside. Karalane Kerala's Haripad Shri Subramanya Swami Temple, there are many special festivals when Lord Kartikya is worshipped. 
such as the Avani Utsavam in Chingam, Markazi Utsavam in Danu, Chitra Utsavam in Medam form the Utsava Trayam, Trikarthika in Vrichikam, Prathishta Day in Idavam, Skanda Ashthami in Thulam, Navrathri in Kani and Thapuyam in Makaram. Andhra Pradesh Skanda Shashti Utsavam is celebrated with fervour in Andhra Pradesh. Skanda Shashti, Kanda Shasti Kavasam commemorates the victory of Lord Sri Kartikya in destroying evil Asura Sura Padman. The month-long Sri Subramanya Homam begins at the Tiryamala Tirupati Divasthanam's Sri Kapilaswara Swami Temple in Tirupati. The celestial wedding Divya Kalyana Mahatsavam is performed to the Lord and his consorts Valley and Devasena in the temple. Most of temples dedicated to him are in South India. Rituals like Nagaradane are unique to Atara Kannada region of Karnataka. Topic East India Bengal Kartikya is revered during the Kartik Puja festival, observed in November in eastern states of India. During Durga Puja in Bengal, Kartikya is featured as a son of Durga Parvati and Shiva, sitting along with his brother Ganesha. Odisha Kumara Purnima, which is celebrated by girls and newly married women on the full moon day after Vijayadashami. It is dedicated to Kartikya in Odisha. The festivities bring girls together, they sing and dance, and play a game called Puchi. The prayers on the day are aimed with hopes of getting a husband similar to Kartikya. Kartikya is worshipped during Durga Puja in Odisha as well as in various Shiva temples throughout the year. Kartik Puja is celebrated in Cuttack along with various other parts of the state during the last phases of Hindu month of Kartik. Kartik idols are taken out as procession in the evening and immersed in river Mahanadi. Topic North India Himachal Pradesh Kartikya is the main deity at Chamba district of Himachal Pradesh. The temple of Kartikya in Kugti village is visited every year by thousands of devotees when the trek is opened in the month of March to April. Uttrakhand Lord Kartikya's main temple in Uttrakhand is believed to be the place where he sacrificed his body and bones to his father as reverence. The shrine houses an idol of Lord Kartikya and here few festivals and events like Kartik Purnima and 11 days long Kalash Yatra are observed with much zeal. Madhya Pradesh temple dedicated to Lord Kartikya, Kartik Swami temple in Gwalior, opens only once a year on Kartik Purnima. Haryana Lord Kartik is worshipped year-round at the ancient temple of Pahawa, Haryana. Punjab nine days after Diwali a special festival is celebrated on Navmi and Dashmi in which lakhs of devotees come and take holy dip in lake at Sri Akhelshwar Dham temple's premises Sarovar. Topic West India Maharashtra Thurashambar Temple in Mumbai, many festivals are held that are special occasions for worshipping Lord Kartikya. Such as, Thai Pusam during January to February month is celebrated as a six-day festival. On Thai Pusam day, cavities and palkudams are taken by devotees in procession around Chahedanagar. Special abhishekams are performed to the Mulavar and Utsavar. Anadhanam is provided to all devotees participating in the functions. In the night, Lord Muruga is taken in procession accompanied by Nadaswaram, Veda Purayanam around Chahedanagar. Vaikasi Visakam day, during May to June month, cavities and palkudams are taken by devotees in procession around Chahedanagar. Skanda Sashti during October to November month is celebrated as a six-day festival. Spiritual discourses by learned scholars and or music concerts by popular artists from South or from Mumbai are organized. Topic. Beyond India Topic. Malaysia Kartikya is revered by the Hindus in Malaysia and other Southeast Asian countries such as Singapore and Indonesia. Thaipusam is one of the important festivals celebrated. Sri Subramanyar Temple at Batu Caves Temple Complex in Malaysia is dedicated to Kartikya. There are some other temples in Malaysia such as Kalumalai Temple in Ipoh Arumigu Balathandayathapani Temple, Penang Sanayasi Andavar Temple in Cheng, Malacca Topic. Sri Lanka Karthikeya is worshipped by the Sinhalese as Kataragama Devio also by Sri Lankan Tamils as Maruan, a guardian deity of Sri Lanka. Numerous temples exist throughout the island. He is a favourite deity of the common folk everywhere and it is said he never hesitates to come to the aid of a devotee when called upon. In the deeply Sinhalese south of Sri Lanka, he is worshipped at the Kataragama Temple, where he is known as Katharaval or Kataragama Devio. 
Local legend holds that Murugan alighted in Kataragama and was smitten by Vali, one of the local girls. After a courtship, they were married. This event is taken to signify that Murugan is accessible to all who worship and love him, regardless of their birth or heritage. The Nalore Kandaswami Temple, the Mavadapuram Kandaswami Temple and the Sela Chanathi Temple near Valvedatarai are the three foremost Murugan temples in Jaffna. The Chitravalayatha Temple in Varakal on the border between Trincomalee and Batikaloa is also noteworthy as is the Mandor Kandaswami Temple in Batikaloa. The late medieval era temple of the tooth in Kandy, dedicated to the tooth relic of the Buddha, has a Kataragama Daiyo shrine adjacent to it dedicated to the veneration of Skanda in the Sinhalese tradition. Almost all Buddhist temples house a shrine room for Kataragama Devyo reflecting the significance of Murugan in Sinhala Buddhism. By the 16th century, the Kataragama temple had become synonymous with Skanda Kumara who was a guardian deity of Sinhala Buddhism. The town was popular as a place of pilgrimage for Hindus from India and Sri Lanka by the 15th century. The popularity of the deity at the Kataragama temple was also recorded by the Pali chronicles of Thailand such as Jinkalmali in the 16th century. There are a number of legends both Buddhist and Hindu that attribute supernatural events to the very locality. Scholars such as Paul Younger and Heinz Beckert speculate that rituals practiced by the native priests of Kataragama Temple betray Veda ideals of propitiation. Hence they believe the area was a Veda veneration that was taken over by the Buddhist and Hindus in the medieval period. <laughs> Temples This is not an exhaustive list. Topic within India topic South India topic Tamil Nadu Palani Murugan Temple Swami Malai Murugan Temple Thiruchendor Murugan Temple Thiruparamkanram Murugan Temple Thiruthani Murugan Temple Pazamudarchalai Murugan Temple The above six temples are dedicated to Kartikeya as their primary deity. These six temples in Tamil Nadu, together are referred to as Aru Padevidu Tamil, Arupatai Vitu, that are mentioned in Thirumarugatrupadai, written by Nakirar and in Thirupagal, written by Aranajarinathar. Topic Kerala There are many temples dedicated to Subramanya in Kerala such as, Atiambur Shri Subramanya Temple in Kanangad Kasaragad Subramanya Swami Temple in Payanur Panmana Subramanya Swami Temple in Panmana Haripad Shri Subramanya Swami Temple Topic Andhra Pradesh Kothar, Kurnool District Skandagiri, Secunderabad Bikavalu Mopadevi Malam Topic Karnataka Kuk Subramanya Temple Kartikya is worshipped as Subramanya where he is regarded as Lord of the Serpents. Topic North India topic Delhi Malai Mandir, a prominent temple complex topic Haryana Pahawa Temple in Haryana topic Punjab Akalshwar Temple in Gurdaspur. Topic Chandigarh Shri Karthikeya Swami Temple topic Himachal Pradesh Kartik Swami Temple in Manali topic Uttrakhand Kartik Swami Temple above Rudraprayag topic Madhya Pradesh Kartikeya Mandir, Gwalior. It opens only once a day in an year. Topic Gujarat Shri Balamurugan Devasthanam in Ahmedabad Topic Maharashtra Kartik Swami Thirumal Murugan Temple Thiruchambur Murugan Temple, Chembur, Mumbai Topic West Bengal Shri Ganesh and Murugan Temples in Kolkata Topic Outside India Topic Sri Lanka Kataragama Kadurgamam in the South Temple in Tarukoval in the East Shrine in Mbek in Kandy Nalore Kandaswami Temple in Jaffna Topic Malaysia Batu Caves near Kuala Lumpur which has a 42.7 m high statue of Murugan at the entrance, the largest Lord Murugan statue in the world. Urumigu Balathandayathapani Temple, Penang Natukatai Chetir Temple, Penang Sri Marathandavar Bala Dandayathapani Alayam Sri Kandaswami Koval, Brickfields Sanasimalai Temple in Malacca Kalumalai Temple in Ipoh Topic. Indonesia Langkit, Indonesia which has 16 meter high and standing outside of its temple named as Sri Raja Rajeshwara Aman Koval Temple. It has second largest Murugan statue in the world. Topic. Singapore Sri Thandayathapani Temple in Singapore is a major Hindu temple. Arumigu Velmarugan Nana Muniswaran Temple, 50 Rivervale Crescent Sengkang, Singapore Sri Holy Tree Balasubramaniam Temple Sri Murugan Hill Temple, 931 Upper Bukit Timah Road USA 
Shiva Murugan Temple in Concord, Northern California Murugan Temple of North America in Maryland, Washington, D.C. Canada Kanthasami Temple in Toronto, Ontario, Canada Murugan Temple in Val Morin, a suburb of the city of Montreal United Kingdom Highgate Hill Murugan Temple in London Sri Murugan Temple in Manor Park, London Sri Shiva Murugan Temple in Leicester is a popular temple. Skanda Vale in Carmarthenshire, Wales is an ashram and place of pilgrimage. Australia Murugan Temple in Parramatta Mays Hill. Perth Bala Muruguan Temple in Mandagallup Kundrathu Kumaran Temple in Rockbank, Melbourne New Zealand Thirumarugan Temple in Auckland Kurunji Kumaran Temple in Wellington Switzerland Sri Sivasubramaniar Temple, located in the Zeal Valley in Atlaswil is the largest Hindu temple in Switzerland. South Africa Clarewood Sri Shiva Subramaniar Temple Topic Fiji Sri Shiva Subramania Temple Topic Notes Topic References Topic Bibliography Topic. External links Anuval Kanthan Temple Muriga in Sangam Literature Mylama Muriga Temple in the Cross Roads <laughs>